Yeah, could I please have uh, the mini fillet burger, please? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's it. Just drive to the first one now, please. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, it's one point you, please. Yeah, you mini fillet burger, yeah? Aye. Ah, just keep chips. Would you just like a seat at all? Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, so today we're back at another fast food place. It's going to be KFC. So same as the last video as well, we're going to focus on five of my top best foods for if you're on a fat loss diet. Yeah, so in this list I've stuck to like lower calorie meals, uh, even vegetarian options and stuff that's going to actually fill you up. Before we actually start, I want to say that these aren't like fat loss foods. It's just foods that you can use and utilise in your diet. Everybody's different, everybody has caloric uh, needs and macronutrient, uh, macronutrient needs, so like your protein, carbs, fat. So make sure whatever you get here is aligned with your goals and because this is me I'm talking about, this is for me. I've got foods to suit my goals, so make sure that you're aligning with yours. Uh, I just wanted to clarify that. Oh no, I've chose foods to, yeah, to try and suit everybody in terms of like their fat quite low, their protein high, and their carbs kind of moderate, and I've tried to keep as low calories as possible. Uh, so yeah, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Before we start the video, make sure you are subscribed and you hit the like button. Okay, first on the list is going to be a mini fillet burger. So that's what I have got today. So I'm just gonna eat the favorite, well, my favorite meal, and then I'll go through the other ones just by listing photos and describing what they actually are. Two seconds, I'm roasting. <laughs> Jeez, man. So I'll probably maybe normally get a, like a massive fillet burger or a fillet meal, but in terms of just for your lunch and yeah, a quick snack, quick wee pick me up, a uh, mini fillet is a perfect and it is cheap as, so 150. Okay, so that's what I've got, so I'm gonna eat this first. I've also got my water. It isn't the biggest, so you can see it in kind of comparison to my face. It's not the biggest. Maybe about the size of my palm. Maybe a bit bigger. No. So I just think they're, they're ideal if you want a wee snack. Uh, and the calories aren't actually that bad with this. It comes with a sauce. I can't remember what sauce it is. I'll give you a closer look. Here we go. So as you can see, it's got some sauce on it. I don't really want to lift this off too much. Alright, it's sorted. So as you can see, it's decent little size, it's fried chicken, all that shenanigans. Here we go. Must admit, see the rolls out of KFC, you got the buns. They're so soft. And I don't even know what sauce it is, but it's, it is delicious. It's quite peppery, but that's what I like. To be honest, it could have done me a bit more salad, there's like nothing on it. Mm mm mm. The thing I love about the KFC chicken, it actually tastes very real and just very succulent. So the last bite of the KFC mini fillet burger, 
Mod number one. Mmm. Nice. So number two on my list is the fillet salad. For those that's on a very low carb or even lowest calorie, uh, the salads are probably the best option. So the fillet salad, in my opinion, or even the zinger salad, is probably the best option in terms of high protein and lowest calorie. The good thing about the salad boxes is that it's got a lot of volume. So if you're trying to fill yourself up with littlest calories, then probably the best option for you. For me, I like a bun. If I go to a restaurant like that, I prefer actually having like a burger or a wrap. Uh, just little, it's more handy in terms of like a salad uh, to get your fork out and stuff. That's just my opinion, but it's second list anyway because it probably has the best macros, so I'm putting it in there. I've never got out of here. Okay, number three on the list is actually the vegetarian, so the veggie rice box. So this is a vegetarian option. Uh, I think the rice boxes are better than the salad. But in terms of low calorie for your diet, that's why I've listed the salad as the second one. So the vegetarian option actually has the lowest amount of fat, that's why it is included. You can also opt out for uh, maybe some chicken, uh, like the zinger salad rice box or the fillet salad rice box, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I've chose the, the veggie one because it has the lowest calories out the, lot, out the lot. This is something I've actually never had before, the rice box, so I might actually try it soon. Uh, because people have actually been raving about it, but I do prefer like having a bun uh, when you go to these places, a bun or a wrap or something that you can actually hold. But number three on the list was the rice box. Okay, number four on the list is the barbecue wrap. So I have had this before on the channel on my fast food day, so eating all fast foods uh, for a full day and meeting my macros, so make sure you check that out. I can't remember what side it's on. So these are why this is number four. So the macros are actually pretty good, the, the calories are pretty good, it's very tasty, like it's probably one of the tastiest things in there. Uh, but in terms of volume, uh, it's it's tiny, it is tiny, it's even smaller than that burger. Uh, and you don't feel full, I could literally eat about 20 of them, but in terms of taste, in terms of like macros, uh, they're pretty good. Okay, number five and the last on my list, so in terms of satiety, in terms of kind of volume. So number five is a six piece bargain bucket so this is just maybe over 600 calories so still relatively low so what you're getting is you're getting bits of chicken and you're getting some chips the fat is relatively high in terms of uh, the other ones that I've listed so this is up at like maybe 30 grams proteins over 30 and I think carbs maybe over like 40 but for me as a, like a meal that's pretty decent in terms of fast food places so you get your bits of chicken, uh, they are as I'm saying, they are fried, uh, and you do get your portions of chips. But for me, that's actually pretty decent, and that's why I put it on this list. One main reason for this is you get volume and you get satiety. So like, that I'm satisfied. I'd be probably satisfied if I ate this meal, uh, and that's why it's on here. And the protein is relatively high, so that's something that you need to consider as well. And the calories, when you think about a full meal, 600 calories isn't actually that much. That concludes the list of my top five favorite. Yeah, favourite foods to choose in KFC if you're on a fat loss diet or a low calorie diet. So make sure you are screenshotting or you're saving this video or liking this video to make sure you do not forget any of these if you go to these fast food chains. Uh, and yeah, but I still want to clarify that these are not fat loss foods so they won't, let you, they won't burn the fat off you. Uh, but they do help in reading your macros goals, reading your calorie goals. Uh, and yeah, even if you're out for a social event, or you know with friends, these are something that you can get if you're still trying to avoid uh, yeah, binging on food. So something to think about, something to consider, and make sure you're screenshotting or liking the video. So before I forget, make sure you are subscribed if you are not subscribed already, it really does help. If you are liking videos like this, make sure you comment down below if you really do like something like this. And make sure to list whatever yeah fast food place you want me to go through. The likes of anything, honestly, anything I can go through, certain things that I would consider the best option for you. Simple as that, guys. So remember, stay positive, stay grateful, and I will see you in the next one.